What's up everybody? We are back for another video. Today we are at Eric's shop again. We are working on the back of the car this time. We're going to get some parachute stuff going on. The car's getting really fast. I think uh, 130 mile an hour in the eighth you need to shoot and 150 in the quarter you need to shoot. Well the car's been over 150 uh, a couple times and now that we're getting the short track down it should be trapping like 160 mile an hour pretty consistent so if i'm going to do any testing they're not going to let me unless i got to shoot so uh here we are we just got some simple square tubing uh we're going to put in the back of the uh, factory crash bar locations drill some holes weld some nuts in there to hold it in um and then we're just gonna notch notch this run a bar across and then bring this right off of that cut a little hole in the bumper call it a day mount that big dude up and uh yeah go from there so pretty straightforward hopefully it doesn't take them too long um but yeah i mean yeah give us a like like comment subscribe do all that stuff real quick and then next time you see it hopefully uh, he'll have it all knocked out so see ya Alright guys, as you just saw, we got the parachute mount all finished and mounted up. Thank you Eric so much, appreciate it once Absolutely. again. So uh, yeah, if you guys are in the southern Indiana, Louisville area, give them a shout, Lightspeed Auto and Fab. So we're gonna get this thing loaded up, uh, get to the house, mess with uh, mounting the actual parachute itself, and run some wire, cable, whatever, seeing what we can't figure out there. Uh, definitely gonna try to get that painted today. You know, there's a lot of stuff that still needs painted on the car, um, like the weight plate. But anywho, that'll be uh, probably over the winter kind of deal. But still need to do the cage too. You know, paint the old cage. So yeah, we're gonna get her loaded up, and uh, we'll see you back at the house. All right, YouTube, we're back at the house. We got the uh, bumper pulled off the back of the car. Uh, I've got everything unbolted. We're about to pull this thing out of here, check it out, and uh, clean it off, spray it up. So let's take a look. My man did wonders with these welds. Per the norm. I love how it turned out. Just how I was wanting it to do. You know, it's just really simple. Super simple. And then it just bolts into the uh, factory crash bar location. So yeah, let's see how she wants to come out. Oh, look at that. I figured it was gonna be more difficult. Cool. All right, well, we'll throw this out in the sun, clean her up, get her painted. All right, guys, we got everything taped up, so we're gonna go ahead and spray it with some roll bar paint. Gloss black. Hopefully, she doesn't fall over.
I got her all painted and mounted back on the car. Turned out really good. I don't have this stuck all the way in there yet because we still have to do a little bit of work for bumpers ready to go all the way, all the way back on. But yeah, it turned out really good. I'm super happy with it. Um, so the next step is going to be uh, a little intimidating for me. Opening this parachute up and we have to drill some holes in the back of it so we can mount it so we can mount it up here um, and then we can put our cord down there tighten that guy up and all that so uh, I'm gonna try to open this up hopefully it's not uh, I really wish the car was kind of turned around so I could lay it all out into the driveway since I don't have any room to work back here um, maybe I'll just drape it all up along this way but I gotta figure that out and then I gotta figure out how to repack this. So I need to do a little research. And uh, yeah, so let's open this up and see what happens. This is up. So I'll just put this on the back of the car, mark a few holes, and get her drilled. All right, guys, we got the parachute bag all bolted up and installed. Uh, I've also been busy, and I have gotten the parachute handle installed. And the cable, I got it running down this uh, roll cage bar and straight out the back, works great. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much the only location I can put this, so I just gotta reach up and throw the chute. So now, last thing I need to do is pull this back off, put my bumper on. This is where I'm coming through the uh, body at, worked out pretty well. Um, so now I just got to put the bumper on, feed it through one of the air holes, and then trim, trim this cable back and we should be, should be done. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull this off, throw the bumper on and go from there. All right, guys, we got the bumper back on, got the cable ran through it. I've got the cable cut and trimmed. And I got this little ferrule put on here to make it look all nice and pretty. So she should be, you know, after we remove before flight, uh, should be good to go. Got it tight underneath the car. I got this secured. I like that slack we got in the line. Yeah. Let's give her a little test throw real quick. Make sure she comes out. Whew. Parachute out. Yep, she went to deploy. So let's throw that back. And then we can put this back in there. I'll mess with that in a second. But yeah, that's gonna end us off there, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. 
Uh, hopefully we can get to uh, test this out sometime soon. Um, and I can get some experience packing these. So I haven't technically fully packed the chute yet. Um, I'll probably do a couple of just dry fires, pull it out, open it up um, in the next few weeks or something. Um, and uh, get familiar with packing it correctly. So yeah, that's going to do it for us. So thanks for watching. Please give us a like, comment, subscribe, share, 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 and watch another video really helps. So, all right, see you guys.